Hello everybody, this video is showing something the most cool thing that you can do in Hogwarts Legacy and basically casting spell and do different actions by just using your voice. Arresto Momentum. Arresto Momentum. Experiamos. Experiamos. Depulso. Depulso. Ever the Kedavra. Ever the Kedavra. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't touch the keyboard. I used my own voice in order to activate those spells and it felt amazing. Of course, I'm gonna show you how with software I use and how you can do this yourself. And if you look at the button, we can actually see that I put a reminder there for the spell names. I also put one for Revelio and also for a, a custom word smash for the X action. Revelio. Revelio. Smash. And the funny thing, sometimes it gets out of Glacius. control. Glacius! 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 Again! Glacius! Glacius! Incendio! Incendio! Alright, before I show you how, let's take a look at some action in the battle arena. We just voice controlled spell, spell casting. Now soon you're gonna see that I try Avera Kadavra, but I need to switch the set because it wasn't actually there, so we did the wrong spell and you realize that later. Kedavra. Oh, oh sorry, mistakes. Avera Kadavra! <laughs> Avera Kadavra! I used the wrong one. Oh, oh my god, I need to remember. Alright, Levioso! Levioso! Oh nice! Um um arrest the momentum arrest the momentum nice crucio crucio Woo. crucio finally uh accio accio levioso wingardium levioso Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. No Leviosa, Leviosa. <laughs> Bombarda. Bombarda. Ooh, nice. Glacius. Ooh. Incendio. 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 No, Incendio. No, Incendio. 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 Arrest of the You've managed to thwart a lot of trolls um, for us. Experiamos. He's gonna wait for me. Experiamos. Expelliarmos. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Expelliarmos. <laughs> Well, as you can see, you need to work on the pronunciation so it will work correctly. But many times it actually works well. You just need to pronounce it, uh, you know, correctly. And sometimes in need of the battle, I kind of make mistakes. And but again, the cool thing is that you also have a spell that allows you to float enemies, and they have time. They're gonna wait for you until you're gonna cast another spell. But in battle arena, why well, you need to do it fast. Beautiful. Anyway, it's super cool, super immersive, and super fun. Now let me show you how you can do that. I've had a cadaver. Alright, so how this works exactly? So basically right now you can actually see that when I speak, VoiceBot actually detects my voice. Alright? But it doesn't find any matching actions. Alright? But uh, you can see that I already have several commands that the software does understand. So if I put here, for example, and I say um, Accio, it writes one. If I say Arresto Momentum, Arrest of momentum. Right, three. If I say bombarda, right, four. Depulso, four. Experiamos, experi, experi, I know, never mind, next one. Glacius, three. Imperio, incendio, levioso, wingardium leviosa, smash. X, right? And so on, right? And you actually understand that and actually see that it actually took the action, right? 
basically just listen to the microphone and actually once I'm inside again, we'll just put the key. Uh, so basically what you do, I created a profile. Uh, if I'm gonna go and edit the profile, right, you can see all the different uh, macros that I have here, right? Uh, you see profile language, I choose English, right? And um, you can see that you can add more. For example, if I had, uh, yes, there's something else, all right? Just uh, say, hello, all right? And when I say, I can actually test it and see that the speech recognition can understand it. So, hello, hello, it's green. It's mean that this is how should I say it, hello, all right? And then you need to add action and you can actually choose between different things. There are lots of customizations. By the way, keep in mind, this is the paid version. I paid for this uh, app. There's also a free uh, trial version, which is limited. You can check the differences on the website uh, and you can decide what you, what you want to do. So basically, if you combine things, if you want to do fly, for example, uh, you want to combine tab and three. So there's an option to construct it with delay and press key. But basically, if you just want to put, for example, pressing one or two, just do press and release. And you can just type here one, right? And then I do okay. Okay, and apply. And look what happens if I say hello. Ah, I need to apply again, sorry. And okay, let's close it. Hello. 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 Oh, now, all right. You can actually pause it by the way here, so you can just make it. There's also an option to uh, make a hotkey so we can actually pause it so it won't actually record and then you can use the hotkey in order to start recording again. But basically I just left it open, press play, and you can see that it actually listens to my voice. All right, and then I created those command and I can test that I actually say it correctly. So I know if it's green, uh, this means that it recognizes it. Uh, I'm just going to show you another example, like Bombarda. I'm going to go to edit, run test, Bombarda, Bombarda, here we go, All right? So test the commands, and this is for sign to four. All right, so that's basically how it works. Of course, there are much more, many more actions here, but this is kind of the basics uh, that I'm using, All right? Now, just a tip, keep in mind that when you are, um, when you're using, uh, you know, we said two keys, one, two, three, and four, uh, of course you can use different words. You can say, I don't know, like a mobile phone, and it will do the Aveda Kadabra. You can do whatever you like. You can make something funny, like, you know, in several Smith, like, I'll kill you, and you're just gonna do the X uh, uh, attack. You know, you can do whatever you like, and that's the cool thing about it. And you can assign, by the way, to one, two, three, and four. Uh, I think you can also change for key binding, but just I use the default. But keep in mind that if you're using different spells, you need to do it for different sets. You need to remember to replace to another set. So the same name will actually apply to a particular spell that is assigned to a key in another set. All right, just remember. Otherwise, if I say Avida Kadaver, for example, and decide to, let's say, key two, and I'm not currently at the set and the spell is not available, it will do, it will execute a spell for the key that is bind to number two, but it's going to be another spell, not Evada Kadabra. All right. And of course, you need to kind of pronounce it well, you know, uh, so just practice a bit and then it's going to be much, much smoother uh, based on my first initial impressions. You can see here where I kind of uh, missed a few spells because of that. But other than that, it's really fun and I highly recommend trying it. I hope you find this one useful. Give it a try if you did. Consider giving a like if you like this video. Tell me what you think and if it works well for you. Regarding software, by the way, there are probably quite a few of them out there. I just used one that I found that I think was, uh, you know, uh, will work well and it actually worked well and it's very good. And actually going to use it for other games as well. Uh, that's why I purchased also a license. I want to use it uh, playing other games. Uh, but there's a free trial so you can try or try it maybe other software. I didn't do a lot of research to search which are the free versions that are available out there. This one works very well for me and I'm going to keep it and use it. But if you know other ones uh, based on your experience that did good, that you recommend, please let us know in the comment section below. And again, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next video with more cool Hogwarts Legacy content. Thanks for watching.